In this video, I am going to discuss the prefix sum algorithm. We have an 1D array and 2D array matrix of integers of size n greater than 0 and m and greater than 0 respectively. We have to perform a prefix sum algorithm on a given array to find the prefix sum array. For example, let's suppose we have an 1D array of size 6 and 2D array of size 2 into 3. So after performing prefix sum algorithm, the prefix sum corresponding to 1D array would be 1, 6, 10, 12, 12, 13 and prefix sum corresponding to 2D array would be 1, 6, 10, 3, 8, 13. Now let us understand the concept of prefix sum array and its algorithm. Prefix sum array concept. Let's suppose we have a set A having numbers that is 2, 6, 4, 8 for which we have to find the prefix sum set that is P. Initially the value of the set P would be 0. So the prefix sum of set A would be calculated as the first number of prefix sum would be same as first number of the given numbers that is 2. The second number of prefix sum would be the sum of first and second number of given numbers that is 2 plus 6 equal to 8. The third number of prefix sum would be the sum of first, second and third number of the given numbers that is 2 plus 6 plus 4 equal to 12. The fourth number of prefix sum would be the sum of first, second, third and fourth number of the given numbers that is 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 8. Now our prefix numbers would become If we use an array to store these numbers then we can call it as prefix sum array. The size of prefix sum array is always the same as the original array. For example here is 4. Now let's understand the prefix sum array in terms of 2D array. Let's suppose we have a matrix having numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 2, 2, 1, 4 for which we have to find the prefix sum that is P matrix. Initially the value of the P matrix would be 0. The first number of prefix sum would be same as first number of the given numbers that is 1. The second number of prefix sum would be the sum of all number which are above it or on the left of it of given numbers. That is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. The third number of prefix sum would be the sum of all numbers which are above it or on the left of it of the given numbers. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6. The fourth number of prefix sum would be the sum of all numbers which are above it or on the left of it of the given numbers. That is 1 plus 5 equal to 6. Now repeating the steps for the rest of the numbers.
Finally, the P matrix is the prefix sum of 2D matrix A. If we use an 2D array to store this number, then we can call it a prefix sum 2D array. The size of the 2D prefix sum array is always the same as the original 2D array. For example, here is 3 into 3. So by analyzing this result of 1D array, we can represent each elements of 1D prefix sum array as and 2D array prefix sum array as As we can see, the method is very simple to find the prefix sum, that is, for every element, traverse the all the element position which is above and left of it and add them together. But it is not an efficient solution as it is a brute force approach which is a bit complex for the system. So there is an efficient solution to find the prefix sum array, that is, using formula. The general formula for 1D element at high position would be There would be only two cases according to the index i And the general formula for 2D elements at i and j position is There would be only 4 cases according to the index i, j. We will use this formula in the prefix sum algorithm. Now let's see the example of the prefix sum algorithm for both 1D and 2D array one by one. Prefix sum algorithm. Let's suppose we have a given array that is a 1, 5, 4, 2, 0, 1 and prefix sum array that is prefix sum. Initially it contains zero value in each element. The indexes of each element of both array would be The logic behind this algorithm is that the element value of current index of prefix sum array is equal to element value of its previous value plus element value of current index of the given A array. As we don't have a previous element for index 0, therefore there will be two cases, that is case 1 where i is equal to 0 and i is greater than 0. Let's begin with the first element having index 0. Here, we don't have any previous element. Therefore, the value of this element is equal to the corresponding element of the given array that is 1. So, updating the element of the prefix sum array. Now move to the second element having index 1. Here the value of this element will be equal to the value of previous value and the value of corresponding element of the given array. This previous value is 1, which is the sum of this element of the given array and the value of corresponding element of the given array which is 5. So updating the element of the prefix sum array. Now move to third element having index 2. Here. This previous value is 6, which is the sum of this element of the given array and the value of corresponding element of the given array which is 4. So updating the element value of prefix sum array. Now repeat the same formula for rest element of the prefix sum array.
as there is no more element left therefore we have found our prefix sum array using this formulas as we have iterated the array of size n only one time therefore the time complexity would be big o of n now let's look at the prefix sum algorithm for 2d array let's suppose we have a given matrix that is a that is 1542021322 and the prefix sum array is prefix sum initially it contains zero value in each element the indices of each element of both array would be the logic behind this algorithm is that the element value of the current index of prefix array is equal to the sum of all element values which are above it and on the left of it plus element value of current index of a given array if applicable so according to this there would be four cases case 1 where index i equal to 0 and j equal to 0 this is applicable for the first element only that is element which does not have any above and left element case 2 where index i is equal to 0 and j greater than 0 this is applicable for first row elements that is element which does not have above elements case 3 where index i is greater than 0 and j is equal to 0 This is applicable for first column elements that is element which do not have left elements. Case 4 where index i is greater than 0 and j is greater than 0. This is applicable for rest element that is elements which have both above and left elements. Let's begin with the first element having index 0, 0. here we don't have an element which is above it or on the left of it so by using this formula we will find the prefix sum value here the value of this element is equal to this corresponding element of the given array that is 1 so updating the element of the value of the prefix sum array now move to second element having index 0,1 here we have an element which is left of it but the element above it is missing so by using this formula we will find the prefix sum value here the value of this element is equal to this value and the value of this element is equal to this element value of corresponding element of the given array so updating the element of the value of prefix sum array now move to third element having index 0,2 here also we have an array which is left of it but the element above it is missing so using the same we will find the prefix sum value now moving to the fourth element having index 1,0 here we have an element which is above it but the element left is missing so by using this formula we will find the prefix sum value here the value of this element is equal to this value and the value of this element is equal to this element value of the corresponding element of the given array so updating the element of the value of prefix sum array now move to this element having index 2,0 here again we have an element which is above it but the element left is missing so using the same formula we will find the prefix sum value now move to this element having index 1,1 here we have an element which is left of it and also the element above it so by using this formula we will find the prefix sum value here the value of this element is equal to this value 
and the value of this element is equal to this element value. Now here we can see that one first element is added twice. Therefore, removing one copy of it which is equal to this element value. This value of this element is equal to this element value of the corresponding element of the given array. So, updating the element of the value of prefix sum array. Now, repeat the same formula for the rest elements of the prefix sum array. So there is no more element left. Therefore, we have found our prefix sum array. As we have iterated the array of size r into c only one time. Therefore, the time complexity would be big O of r into c. Let's look at the implementation of this algorithm for one dimensional and two dimensional arrays. We are using the general formulas in this algorithm to find the prefix sum array of the given array. This is a given one dimensional array for which we have to find the prefix sum array. This is a given two dimensional array for which we have to find the prefix sum array. This function called to the actual implementation of the one dimensional prefix sum algorithm. This function called to the actual implementation of the two dimensional prefix sum algorithm. Now let us look at the actual implementation of one dimensional prefix sum algorithm. This n variable stores the length of a given one dimensional array. Declare the prefix sum array of size n which would store the result. Initializing the first element of the prefix array with the first element of the given array. This for loop iterates and initializes all prefix sum array elements except the first element. This will print the result prefix sum array of the given array. Now let us look at the actual implementation of two dimensional prefix sum algorithm. This r len and c len variable store the row and column length of a given two dimensional array respectively. Declare the prefix sum array of size equal to the given array size. Initializing the first element of the prefix array with the first element of the given array. This for loop iterates and initializes the first row only of the prefix sum array. This for loop iterates and initializes the first column only of the prefix sum array. This outer for loop iterates for row counts skipping the first element. This inner for loop iterates for column counts skipping the first element. This will print the result prefix sum array of the given array. I hope you understand the logic behind this algorithm. Thank you for watching.